workout movement and today I'm going to show you a great warm up which you can do before each one of your workouts and will avoid having any injuries. Of course we will be doing some mobility exercises and then some stretches so we avoid muscle tear. First we will start with our head and then we will proceed forward to the rest of our body. So the first exercise we will do is mobility for our neck so we will just turn it around like this each side around three times then after that you can do this movement which is like yes so up and down into your maximum extensions and then after that another three reps you can do a no movement so one side other side one side other side again two times each side that will be enough then what you can do is stretch one of your side so shoulder pushing down and then I'm pulling with my hand so I feel this stretch on my neck. Same thing for the other side, hold it like 5 se seconds, then you can go forward like this. So again, around 5 seconds and after that go up again. This part of the neck is getting stretched and this will be enough for your head. Next we'll do our arms, so from the shoulders to our wrists. So we'll start just by turning them around, just this. Five times one side, five times other side. Do your maximum reach so you get this full mobility of the exercise. And then you'll stretch your shoulder. So putting my head in front of me and to the side. Again, shoulder, I'm pushing it down and then I'm pulling with my other hand to the opposite. So I feel this beautiful stretch here. And then right after that, you'll put the same shoulder high up and then you'll twist your body so also uh, stretch our core and at the same time our back delt. So do it for like 5 seconds each of the exercises and then we will start by rotating our elbows so like this. Again some mobility one side other side around 5 times it's pretty quick and then we will be doing movement going forward and back so we stretch it and also it's good for mobility then to the sides and then going up just warm them up again five times doesn't need to be more and then for last we'll turn around with our wrists one side other side and then going up and down as we know of course if you were to go doing some kind of exercises like push-ups or dips it's better to focus on these wrists a bit more I have worked out like that already so you can check it out I'll it down in the description after we finish with our arms we can then proceed to the rest of our body so we'll start with our torso so what we do at first is turn our body around in circles so again maximum extension maximum reach three times each side and then we'll do some hip movement so like this both of the exercises are good for stretching your back and also your core again with the hips try to do it around three times each side and it will be enough and then we can proceed to our legs at first we'll be just turning one of our legs around almost to the height of our shoulders so like this out and then in again around three times of course do all these movements for the other side so then we'll do a sound for our knees so around other side again about three times then you'll be doing like these kicks to front again around three reps and then you'll do the same thing just for the side this is enough for your knees and then for the rest just put some stress on your ankles like this and then turn them around again around three side three times then for our legs what we'll have to do is put them a bit further apart and then we'll sit on one of them so like this again I'm not literally sitting I'm still holding it with my muscles now in order to be in the correct position what you have to do is be on the leg which is right under you and the entire surface and then the other one can be just on the heel now from this my knee cannot be forward it has to be rotated to my side and I have to hold it in this position in a perfectly straight form now to train the other side of our quads so the front quads what we'll do is a deep lunge so we'll come down into this position so as you can see both of my feet are in two different lines going forward then my knee has this 90 degree angle here and then I'm putting my pelvis forward so nothing like this forward and then right after you do it you'll feel nice contraction here and it will stretch 
your lower and front quad. And the last exercise will be a split. So we'll come down into this position. So putting my legs as far apart as you can and you will feel the contraction right here in the middle of our front quads but on the sides. So we'll try to pull ourselves as much as we can forward and then in we are the maximum position we'll try to put our elbows down like this and try to lean forward and hold it there for around 20 seconds. So overall you can do this warm up and sometimes add with the exercises that you know that you will train. So if I wanted to do a leg day, you will add a few more exercises that you already know or that I will later post on my channel and then you will have a great warm up for your body. Ok guys, that's all for the warm up. Thank you for watching, hope you will use it and if you liked it, be sure to hit that like button below and subscribe, also share and if you have any questions again, be free to write it down in the comment below and I will do a video about it. Ok guys, thank you very much for watching and bye.